Hello, hello. Time for some line pressure testing. Got my vehicle VIN number in. We're gonna ID this vehicle. Workshop. Automatic transmission 30701. And what we're looking for under diagnosis and testing is special testing procedures. Helps if I actually click on it. Third time's the charm. All right, first things first, there are multiple different pressure tabs on most of these transmissions, so we need to find the one for line pressure. Number five is line pressure right there. Number five, here's my range sensor. So let's take a look. There she is right there. There's my range sensor. There's my line pressure tab and things leaking right away. First thing that we would want to test is, is the transmission level correct? Well, we're getting further and further away from that as we go right now, okay? Um, I've got the shift linkage disconnected so that I don't have to go up and down from the vehicle, try to make this as streamlined as possible. Um, and let's make sure that we are in park. Go all the way back, park. So there's park right there. Take a look at our gauge. Gauge tells me 75 on our line pressure. We'll refer to our chart. Boop, boop, boop. So there's our chart. A little bit high for line pressure, but I can tell you right now this fluid is not up to 170 degrees Fahrenheit, so that's part of our problem right there. Thick fluid's going to show higher line pressure, but it is nice to know that we can build the pressure we're looking for. Um, in reverse, we should be 70 to 150, so that will be the next one that we'll be able to pretty easily make happen. Try not to burn myself. One click is reverse, so there's reverse. Oh, get the flashlight out of the way. So, that one's in spec. And then our next test that we can perform to lose my gauge is going to be for our drive gears 50 to 110 so got to give that a couple more tugs there's neutral which is basically the same as park match drive right there what have we got Pressure is right under 100, 90 to 100, somewhere in that range. Take it to the chart. We're in spec there as well. So now if you scroll down on this, it actually will start to help you troubleshoot what could cause some of these different issues. Give me one second, I'm gonna shut the engine off and I'll be right back. I'm back, I did it. Um, so high idle, they're looking at electrical issues for the most part, run a quick test. Um, if that pressure is too high and the, and the fluid's up to operating temperature, we've got a control issue. Um, high pressure is way better than low pressure because that probably means we don't have to go all the way inside the transmission to fix it. Um, valve body come down, maybe do some wiring checks, maybe there's a DTC or something that'll lead us to a diag. Low idle is, uh, low at idle is much more common. And if you look at that low fluid level, control bodies, leakage, damage, damage, restricted, case bolts. So like something's broken, um, any of the seals inside the transmission that go bad, if the pump gets weak, um, if we have a solenoid that's not working properly, our EPC solenoid should default to maximum line pressure, EPC electronic pressure control, but that doesn't mean it can't get mechanically stuck in, in um, an exhaust mode, which would lower our line pressure. Very, very hard to have low line pressure. You need a really, really big leak to cause this to happen. Um, if I pulled one of those other um, 
um, line pressure, well, one of the other pressure taps that are in here. If I pulled one of these out and it was just puking fluid out and I had the gauge hooked up to line pressure, we would still be in spec as long as nothing inside the transmission was damaged. So that gives you kind of an idea of how huge a leak has to be to really cause a line pressure issue. But this chart is invaluable. It'll help give you some ideas. Um, and also it's gonna change based off of what transmission you're working on, right? Because they're saying low and let's say this one on the bottom, low and second only. That's manual second. Intermediate clutch would be the, the clutch and forward clutch seem like they must both be applied. So it's giving us some ideas about the um, applied components and when they're on and off. And the valve body really limits us to a, a pretty specific um, set of options. So there's our line pressure test.